Hello everybody. Right, in my previous couple of videos you'll have seen me making my motion plates, uh, my cross heads and my slide bars etc and all the relevant bits. Yeah, that's that. And, and I've done all the lubrication point now on the cross head. So in this video I'm going to move on to the cross head slippers. And the gudgeon pins. There's a f two or three ways you could go about this. You could either machine it from a solid piece and leave the lips on, but doing it that way you may have to solder it to another block so you've got something to hold it to machine it. Or there's an alternative way where you could use the correct gauge plate and bend it up on the ends make two right angle bends on the ends so that it fits in the cross head and, and the lips come up exactly where the cross head ends finish like that so you'd bend the, them two ends upwards or, or the alternative way and the, the route that I'm probably going to take is to cut the, cut the correct gauge plate to the correct length inch and three quarter and I'm going to solder two two pieces on each end to give me two square ends and I think that's the route I'll take so I've got my piece of brass set up in vice and I'm just going to saw that into two pieces then I'm going to saw two more pieces off and solder them pieces onto this piece Right, that's my two pieces. I'm going to go over to the milling machine and mill them down to thickness, width, sorry, not thickness, width. Cut them to length and then ready for soldering two little pieces on each end. Right then, I've got all my brass cut for the slipper and here's my plan. I've clamped it to each end of the uh, slipper the ends like so clean them up and fluxed them clamped them like that and they're all positioned now ready for soldering right then I've soldered I've soldered the slippers together I've cleaned this one up where's the other one I've just got the other one to just to file up and trim to size like that one and then all it's going to do is going to slip into the I'll do it upside down then it'll stay in slip into there like that that's it that's going onto the frame That's then connecting rods coming into here, and that'll be fastened to cylinder cover. And there you're adjusting screws to clamp to get the correct friction on top. Right, that's that then. Um, now then, 
the gudgeon pins here we are I've just done a little video of me doing those and I've accidentally I've accidentally, we're rushing around, I've gone and deleted it but that's the gudgeon pin and or you've got to make it out of something hard or you've got the case hard in it I've made it out of a high tensile bolt because I've got I've got not got facilities for case hardening at the moment so I, I have done it out of a high tensile bolt which is which are very tough and very hard and then that gudgeon pin is going to fit into crosshead that way obviously with the crank with a con rod connected in, in, in the middle and then just a locking nut goes on now this interlocking nut it's just a temporary nut So now I've, I'm in a position now, I've got to finish that other one off, I've just got to file this one up, same as that one, for the other side, and then I'm in a position then for setting this onto the covers, and drilling the covers, and also drilling the, drilling and tapping the hole for the piston rod in there, so this is the jig this is how it's going to be jigged up to do that. I've got to make a little bush foot cover, set it up in vice so everything's square and parallel and true and vertical. And then I can mark that hole for the for the cover to fit. So that'll be my next job then. So that's me motion plates. Uh, my crosshead, my slide bar, my slide bar bracket, all the adjusting screws, cover, and the slipper, crosshead slipper, in position now. Well, that's it for now. Then I'll. Uh, I don't know what my next video will be, but I'll catch you on my next video. So thanks for watching. Bye for now then.